In this video, I'm going to showcase how to use artificial intelligence tools like Jasper to write amazing ad copy for your business. Now, first thing I want to say is that AI tools are not perfect and they are not the answer for everything, but by leveraging your brain and leveraging some automation tools, you can really achieve some amazing things to get your ad copy to the next level and get a lot of different testing out there. So let's jump into Jasper specifically and let me showcase exactly how to use this platform for writing ad copy. Jasper is artificial intelligence and he can use a lot of different sources to write some pretty cool ad copy for me and for a bunch of different tools, honestly. And as I've stated earlier, Jasper is not going to be the end all be all for writing ad copy. It is still going to involve humans. It's still going to involve us to see exactly what good ad copy is, but I'm going to showcase some cool ways which you can use Jasper to write Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing ads, or just general copy for your advertising and marketing efforts. All right, so this is the Jasper dashboard. And the cool thing about Jasper is they have a ton of different templates that we can choose from. And specifically for ads, they can write headlines for us, text, Google ads, headlines, or descriptions. Or we can leverage some of their other tools to just start documents and have them write ads based on the input that we give them. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So within the Jasper interface, if I click on the plus sign here next to document to create a new document, I'm going to create a new document from scratch. And now I can begin writing on my own. And this is Jasper's Playground. It's really cool and it's crazy, the cool things that you can do with this. And one of the first hotkeys I'm going to showcase here is the Compose section. So if I just write down, if I type in Control J, Jasper's going to begin writing and it's really cool. So let's say I want Jasper to begin to write ad copy for my website for raceoffville.com. I'm going to say... The title of this is going to be Subscribe to Ray's YouTube channel. So subscribe to Ray... Savel's YouTube channel. And then my quick brief, I'm going to have it just write down, Ray is a digital marketing expert focusing on digital advertising. And then you can even tell Jasper what kind of tone of voice you would like as well. So I'm gonna say like professional and witty. Going to give it a couple of tone of voices to, to write around. And then for keywords, this is more for content in my opinion. You don't have to tell Jasper to write around specific keywords in your ads unless you're really focusing on quality score. But I find that Jasper does a pretty good job at doing that on its own. So now here's where the power and where the fun begins with Jasper. I'm going to tell Jasper to write um, some headlines for my ad copy. Also, I have Cortana on my computer, so I'm just able to talk to Jasper if I would like. Let's see if this works. Write five headlines for Google Ads based on the title of this article. So now I did that, and I'm going to tell Jasper to do it. And here's the crazy part, right? So Jasper just wrote five headlines um, based on my business. So get more business with Ray Savio's YouTube channel. Advertise like a pro. The best tips and tricks for digital advertising from me. Five reasons why you should subscribe. And it just wrote all that information pretty quickly. So I just said based on the title of this article. I can also give it some contextual information by saying here's my website. But now here's the crazy part too. If you know with Google Ads specifically, you can only have 30 characters for the headline. So I can say write five headlines for Google ads that are 30 characters or less, oops, that are less based on the title of this article here. So let's see what happens now. I'm gonna do a little separator and have them write it again. Let's see what Jasper kind of comes back with here. And there you go. Jasper just wrote some more information for me for expert digital marketing tips from Ray Saville. Get ahead of the competition with Ray's help. So Jasper just really writes information based on what it receives as an input. So that's one of the really cool things. I'm going to showcase another example using like an HVAC business to kind of showcase the power on how to use Jasper. All right. So let's pretend I'm in like the HVAC space. So I'm going to tell Jasper to write five titles for an HVAC blog. Now Jasper is going to go out and write five titles for an HVAC blog. I'm going to see what might make sense for like an ad campaign. So let's say I have like a, a maintenance campaign here, right? So the benefits of regular HVAC maintenance. I'm going to put that over here for my title. And now I'm going to tell Jasper to write an introduction paragraph based on my title. So um, write an introduction paragraph. So let's see if he writes a quick introduction paragraph. And here's how silly Jasper can be. 
<clears throat> again, there's going to have to be a lot of fact checking that is happening here because Jasper is just scanning the internet and it's looking for content to be made based on the tone of voice that you're giving it and based on the content description in brief. So um, I'm going to do a couple quick editing here. Most of them know it's important to keep up with basic maintenance tasks. Perfect. So I'm just going to use this for ad copy here because to me, this feels decent. Um, and just for purposes of this example, I'm just going to kind of showcase the power of Jasper. So what I went ahead and did is I took all this info paragraph to give Jasper some ideas on what to write about. So I took all that information that it just wrote for us, put it into the content description or brief. And now I'm going to tell it to write a Google Ads description and headline for me. So I'm going to say, write five Google Ads headlines that are 30 characters or less. So I just asked Jasper to do that for me. Perfect. It just did that. Write five Google Ads descriptions that are 90 characters or less. And now I'm going to have it write five Google Ads descriptions for me. And again, this is just a tool to have in your tool belt to help you write some interesting ad copy. It's typically garbage in, garbage out. So based on the content that you give Jasper, it's only going to be as good as that. So me as a marketer, I'm not just going to take all this information and just give it directly to Google Ads and have it go out there and test. I'm going to compare this to my highest running ad copy, perhaps give it some examples, and then have it go out and write different ads and test that out in the atmosphere, which is pretty cool. So now you can see I've generated five headlines, five descriptions that I can then go out and test. Again, I want to fact check this to ensure that it sounds good, but you can see like save money in the long run by investing in regular HVAC maintenance. Our team can help. Like decent headline. It doesn't have like all of the emotional elements to it, but it's something that I could test and something that gives me like a good starting point. The final thing that I wanted to show you is for Facebook ads specifically and some fun that I've done with Jasper. So let's see if this works for us. Write three Facebook ads descriptions with emojis. So now I'm telling Jasper to write three Facebook ad descriptions with emojis. Let's see if it does it. And Jasper is only giving me smiley faces. So Jasper does not have all of the cool uh, emojis at its disposal, but you can kind of see that it's going out there based on the information that it has at its disposal. It's going out, learning, testing, trying things like this. And again, Jasper is only as good as the content that you're giving it. So this is going to be a tool in your tool belt. Plans, I think, start around like $20 to $60 per month based on what mode you would like to use with Jasper. I've been using it a little bit and have been testing it. Now, what I will say is the ads that I am creating are typically better, but this is kind of a good way to stop like your writer's block if you have it and to help like input some information for writing some pretty awesome ad copy and some good ideas. So again, I'll have a link down in the description for Jasper. No affiliate stuff or anything like that for this video. I just want to kind of showcase the power of Jasper and how you can use it for your digital marketing efforts. And that's it for this video. What are your horror stories with artificial intelligence or with things like this? In my opinion, I think this is the future. I never think that a robot is going to be able to replace someone writing good ad copy. I honestly feel tools like this are going to be another tool in our tool belt to really just push ad copy to the next level. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? Are you scared of tools like this? Do you think these are garbage? Um, let, let me know where your head's at. I would really appreciate that. This is a, definitely a different video from what I've done in the past. So I'd appreciate any type of context that you have regarding this topic. Last thing, if you'd like to join other cool marketers and you have Discord, check out the link down below in the description. We have other digital marketers in the space who talk about digital marketing things. So appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks. See ya. Bye.